It's so funny because right now, if you live in Cape Coral, you hear the thunder, but you're not dealing with the rain. You have a chance of seeing it later on this morning. So this is going to be a live look with the Luminary Hotel camera. You see those towering clouds off in the distance, maybe some flashes of lightning, but a lot of the rain is still out in the Gulf of Mexico. If we take a zoomed and look right now, I'm trying to see if we can see any flashes. But now that the sun is up, it is a bit harder to see that lightning. But when it was dark outside, we definitely definitely had a lightning show. We could take a look at clouds and radar and give you a better idea as to where those showers and storms are right now. So you can see right over land looking nice and dry. A zoomed in look shows you some of that rain still impacting Sanibel, moving up through Captiva, but the bulk of the storms now impacting Cayo Costa, inching closer to Rotunda, Sunset Road, and eventually closer to the Englewood area as well. So those are the areas that are dealing with the rain and coastal communities. You might want to keep that umbrella handy as you have a chance of seeing that rain on and off through your lunch hour, eventually pushing inland through this afternoon. By this afternoon, all of us going to be dealing with the heat. We are dealing with another heat advisory until 7 o'clock this evening for all of Southwest Florida. You're already feeling those warm and muggy temperatures as you take a step outside. 81 over at Fort Myers Page Field, 83 over at the Naples Airport. By the afternoon, we're forecasting highs in the low to mid 90s with a high of 93 Punta Gorda, 95 Fort Myers, 90 down in Naples, but when you factor in the humidity, feels like temperature is going to be near 110 degrees for at least two hours or longer today, which means if you're going to be outside for an extended period of time, I want you to take all of the proper precautions. We might see a little relief by mid work week uh, right now on clouds and radar. You see that dome of high pressure that has been draped over the state. That's what's been keeping us so hot, but we do have an area of low pressure with a frontal system just to the north of us that has a chance of weakening that high pressure, increasing our rain chances and eventually making us feel just a few degrees cooler. We'll take whatever we can get, but for now we're dealing with the early morning showers and the heat. So there's that coastal rain through about 10, 11 o'clock by one o'clock now pushing through our inland areas, five o'clock on and off showers and storms, and it looks like it doesn't dissipate through our inland areas until about 10 o'clock this evening. Dry, quiet conditions overnight will present persist into your Tuesday morning and it looks like we're nice and dry at least through your Tuesday lunch hour but there it is two o'clock scattered storms and showers up and down US 41 I 75 pushing through our inland areas and a couple of them backtracking right around 10 o'clock in the evening nice and dry for that beginning at least of the Wednesday morning commute not only are we talking heat and storms. We've got to talk about the tropics as we're starting to see them get a little bit busier. We are tracking two different systems right now. One tropical wave right now coming off of the coast of Africa does have a 20% chance of developing over the next seven days. The second one, very similar chances. We'll get another update from the National Hurricane Center coming up later on this morning. Right now, it is far too early to tell a potential path for either of those systems, but they do have a small chance of developing at least through your mid work week. So that is something that we are watching. So while we're watching that closer to home, you can deal with that dangerous heat. Make sure you are just taking all of the proper precautions. As I mentioned, as highs today capping out near 95 degrees, hot and humid conditions do continue for your Tuesday into Wednesday. By Thursday, there's that breakdown in the heat where we drop from the mid 90s at least until the low 90s. But those temperatures start to increase once again into your weekend.